Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, coming today. Uh, just wanted to take a little bit to talk about, uh, you may have seen we relaunched National Public Gardens Week yesterday. Um, we're getting away from the idea of doing events and things just because so many of our member gardens are uh, closed, unfortunately, in one way or another. So we're going to focus the, uh, the week on some fundraising and support for gardens before, during, and after the week. Um, and we'll keep it going as National Public Gardens 2020. Uh, we have adopted the, uh, the hashtag Our Gardens Your Home that uh, Longwood brought, put out a couple of weeks ago. And we're hoping that we can encourage people to use that in their social media feeds so that we can bring some attention to uh, both what's happening in our gardens and also hopefully uh, engage our members in sharing photos of the gardens and also their own gardens. Um, very quickly, uh, if you are on the page and logged into our website, you can get to the form. We have really stripped it down. Um, it's, uh, if you type in your garden name, it'll come up here. Just a short thing about your garden status. Um, We'll, here's a link for your fundraising, if you have a direct link to your online fundraising. If not, you can use our uh, association link, and that uh, is a form where people can automatically, um, can just designate a garden that will pass the money right through from. There are no fees from the association for that. Uh, a quick question about how we can help you guys uh, going forward. Uh, we've had some good response so far, about 25 gardens have signed up in the past couple of days. And then we have uh, the open or closed status. Um, if you're closed um, and have some virtual resources like a tour or something, we, we can, we're encouraging you to put them in here. If you're open and uh, you have events going on, you can link to your own events page, or if you wanted to add an event as before, that's available as well. Um, quickly, uh, this will be on the garden map. Uh, if you are registered, uh, then you show up as one of these nice little orange flowers. I am using uh, one of my favorite places, the Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens as an example here. Um, if you click on that, it takes you to a page and this is where your short description of the garden and where you are is. Um, we are still as uh, we are still doing some tweaks to this. So right now it would say see events. Here's the donate here button. Um, we're going to have this be a virtual tour uh, or if, if you have the virtual tour enabled and also we'll move with the donate button over here and make it a lot more prominent. Um, and that's basically what we have going. If you do have events, um, if you go to, there are things on the events page. Um, it will do it between, it'll go specifically to your garden, uh, or you can do the entire thing, view all events. Um, these are some events that were put in before we actually uh, went down. And so I'm not, we are confirming whether or not these people are still gonna be doing things. I know, for example, that Shafusu is closed at the moment. Um, we just drove by there the other day. It's, and it's beautiful with all the cherry trees, but you can't actually get into it, unfortunately. Um, finally, uh, if I know a lot of people are uh, engaged. Uh, there, we've had a lot of gardens that are furloughing uh, staff. So um, we do have an opportunity if you are no longer with a garden. Officially, we have created uh, this. We did this last year, but it's an entry level membership. If you want to stay connected to everybody, uh, it's $10 a year um, for the first three years. Uh, we hope it would be a short period of time that this is a problem for people. But if you are interested in continuing to interact with your uh, community and your other uh, garden professionals, that is an option for you um, that we hope will be affordable and, and useful for everyone. Um, happy to answer any questions you might have about National Public Gardens Week. Uh, feel free to drop me an email. It's rdoran, D-O-R-A-N, at publicgardens.org. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about membership or anything, you can uh, get us, dial, hit us up at info at publicgardens.org. Um, and that's pretty much uh, the short and sweet of it all. If uh, I hope that's of use to everybody. Uh, we're going to be featuring Gardens that are signed up for National Public Gardens Week is our members of the day for the next uh, six weeks and past that as well. Uh, we're going to be really hitting the, uh, the promotional or the fundraising resources that we have available, uh, virtual tours, things like that, uh, as we have been doing. And I know uh, many of you have been doing out there as well. So keep a look at our feeds. We'll keep an eye on your feeds. Um, let's get everybody together and uh, just focus as much attention as we can on the public garden industry. Um, as we hit National Public Gardens Week and for the rest of 2020. Thanks.
Oh, my email address, I'll put it in the chat. It's rdoran, D-O-R-A-N, at publicgardens.org.